boy whiz. Good boy, fetch him up. Good boy. With my last dog, Whiskey, I always had plans of, of taking trips and and going on, you know, chasing ducks around some different states. And, you know, we never did really, never did really get to do that. And now I've got a new dog and I want to be sure that I, I expose him and, and take time and spend those trips and take hunting trips with him. I, he just turned a, a year old on December the 20th. And I've already had him hunting upland birds in northern Wisconsin. And we've hunted around home in eastern Kentucky on resident geese and some, and some ducks. We dove hunted there around home. And now uh, we're out here in Kansas on another out-of-state trip and uh, shooting some late season mallards. And I, you know, I just want to do right by him and get him out and, and take full advantage all the time that I have with my, this dog that I have now, Cash. I've pretty much been around dogs my entire life. My dad's a big time grouse hunter and uh, when I was three, uh, I got my first lab. And her name was Splash, and grew up with her, never did really hunt with her, but she was a, a great dog. And then I went through a bunch of different setters and short hairs, spent a lot of time with my dad working and training them, mainly for upland birds, primarily grouse and some quail. And uh, as I went along, I you transitioned over and got to college and uh, that's when my passion and love for duck hunting kind of come along and uh, got with some buddies and they introduced me and the, the whole uh, aspect in the world of decoying ducks and it, it changed my life that's for sure and after that I decided well, I've got to have a dog because I mean hunting my entire life I mean dogs make anything better and if you can hunt something and use a dog to do it I, I'm in and uh, I decided to get another lab, and uh, I got a, a, he was a black lab, his name was Whiskey, and uh, he was uh, something else, and we kind of grew up together and learned to duck hunt together. We both made mistakes, his faults were my faults, and it was all things that I kind of failed him on and didn't do, but he turned out being an absolute great dog, and uh, it, was, it was fun, and the two of us, we spent a lot of time together, and, I ended up losing him. Uh, he was almost 14 years old, and uh, I went a while. And you know, most people out there, you know, when you lose a dog, it's kind of hard. And... <laughs> they mean so much to you, and uh, ended up uh, waiting about a year and a half before I got another dog. I just couldn't do it. I waited around, waited around, and ended up getting a, a, a pup from a dog that I wanted, which was uh, from Mossy Oak uh, Kennels, and it's Timbo. And, you know, when I, I first decided, I, I heard that they were having a litter out of the, the dogs that I wanted, and I contacted Mossy Oak Kennels and, uh, and got lucky. Uh, it was, uh, he was kind of the last pup left. I slid in there, I almost missed the chance of getting the, you know, the potential dog of a lifetime. And uh, all the work, I, every contact I've had with them has been nothing but just, just been great. Uh, I drove down to West Point to pick him up and uh, went into the facility and, and Mr. Bill was there and it was just a, a great experience. I could have stayed and talked dogs with him for hours. And uh, just the love that he showed the dogs and the puppies that he had there, you could tell that man loves his dogs. And, uh, and that's, that's when I, I really enjoy that. I like seeing that. When you go somewhere, you can tell that they love their dogs. And uh, cause you know, a dog's part of the family. And uh, that's, that's what you do. You take them in, you love them. And uh, there at Mossy Oak Kennels, that's, you could tell when you went, they love their dogs. And I really appreciate that. They take pride in the dogs that they have. And throughout Cash's development and training, I've kept in touch, you know, with pictures of his successes, and uh, the, it's just been a great experience. They're always, they're supported and love seeing their dogs out there doing what they're bred to do. And uh, I, I can't say enough good things. <laughs>